Зараз я розкажу про наступний цікавий проєкт королеви канадської комедії Люби Гой. Люба, you're right in the middle of rehearsals here for a, a new project. It's called Люба Simply Люба. Tell me what this is all about. Oh. How many hours do you have? <laughs> Luba Simply Luba. It's a play about my life and I get to talk about myself to the audience and in parenth in parentheses it's Luba Simply Luba, a global epic tragic comedy in one act. A global epic tragic comedy in one act. And it's just like life, but it's in one act. So I tell everything in one act. You know, there's not even an intermission, so pe people can't go piece you. Can I say that, piece you? They can't go piece you. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a one act play. So and it's about your childhood and, and things that people don't know about you? It, that's right. It, uh, it, it, it basically, if I have want to encapsulate what it's about, it's about a little immigrant child who comes to Canada with her mama and tato, and they land at Pier 21. I mean, I don't, you know, I'm not giving you the play or anything like that, but basically coming to Canada, growing up in Ottawa, all the influences of growing up Ukrainian in a Ukrainian community in Canada, and wanting to be an actress in Canada, not in Ukraini, but all the pleve, all the influences are all Ukrainian. It's going to be touring across Canada, if we can get the backers. And, you know, those people who's, who support culture will support my play. Actually, we have grants from the Tarashevchenko Foundation and all, a lot of, a lot, a lot of people. And I just want to thank all those people that believe in my play, that supported my play, that, that understand that stories like mine need to be told. I know I'm not just an ordinary person or an ordinary actress. I am an actress in Canada from a Ukrainian background who's had enormous privileges. You know, I have had, I have had doors open to me that very few people have, and I can guarantee you that. So tell me what that's like. What is it like after all these years playing all these hundreds and thousands of characters, all of a sudden you're playing yourself. What is that like? It is scary and wonderful, and I didn't know I was that interesting. You know, with Margaret, I was I'm so excited to be in this play. Luba, simply Luba, this is Margaret Atwood talking here. You know, Margaret Atwood is, a, to me, a, a wonderful writer, and I, and I do Margaret Atwood, you know. She's so excited to be in my play. But, you know, people think, well, what are we going to see when we go to see Luba, Simply Luba? Well, come and see it. Uh, one thing that is amazing in my play, apart from me, is that we have Victor Michalo, who plays a bandura, and he sings in my play. And it's just, it's just so incredible. He has his basso profundo. Dumme moi, dumme. I mean, it's like your hair stands on end, right? And all the, because I'm telling my story, you know, about growing up Ukrainian in Canada, you know, and all the play of the musical play there, it's just a wonderful, wonderful experience for me. I've been, I mean, I've been crying. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm rehearsing and I'm like, crying because I'm so happy and I'm so sad and I'm so moved because not just because of my, you know my story which has aspects of tragedy of course everybody has tragedy everybody has love and happiness it's all you know je pro pse we have everything and and I tell it all kids I tell it all it, and that's the way it should be and and you know opening myself up like this it's a it's a very you know vulnerable because I have no problem making fun of the, the Koroleva, like, you know, him, him, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a different thing when you're opening yourself up as yourself. And this wasn't your idea? Before. No, God, my, no, it was not my idea. I, you know, when Andri said, you know, Luba, Air Force will be finished one day. And when it's finished, we're going to do your pl a, a story about, we're going to do a play about your life. And I went, yeah, 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 yeah. And this was, you know, 20 years ago. He was a, at Stratford National Theatre for 12 years. He still lives in Stratford. 
And he said, no, we're doing a play about your life, whether you like it or not. The people need to hear your story. And I thought, yeah, I think they do because, you know, I'm thinking about my tato, Kolesalny Patriot. He would have been so proud of me. And how many people, actors, have an opportunity to, to talk about, you know, what made them who they are. I have this opportunity. And I think the people in the audience are going to appreciate my story because it's their story too. It's about growing up. It's about coming here. It's about the influences, the vplevi vid rodiciu, vid vcetiliu, from your friends, from just everything, like being in Canada. It's like we're so lucky to be here. It's going to be a very interesting experience for me. I have no idea what to expect, to be honest with you. Because I'm talking about myself, not about, not, I'm not hiding behind anything. I'm playing me, but I'm playing me as a little girl, I'm playing me, you know, throughout the, the growing up. And that's really kind of an interesting to, to um, discover myself all over again. The show Luba Simply Luba runs from May 7th until the 26th at the Berkeley Street Theatre. For more information on showtimes and tickets, go to the website canstage.com and make sure you do that soon because tickets are already starting to sell out. So again, that website is canstage.com.